Hi everyone, it is me, the Clean Kitchen Witch, and today I wanted to come to you guys with an amazing tip that I have for anyone who wants to start um, learning all about plants. So with me, what I feel like my biggest idea for you guys is to do is to just start going out um, into your backyard and start learning about the plants that are growing right in your backyard or even at your local park or park that you pass by every day. And I want it to be a place that you pass by every day or you're just there every day because you will be able to see that plant grow from when it first sprouts through the middle stages until it blossoms into a flower or even uh, berries or whatever type of plant you are trying to study. You will be able to know it at all stages if you're able to see that plant every day. Um, it is good to get books that uh, that talk about plants and stuff, but what I feel like you will benefit most from is if you um, if you're seeing the plant every day and you will be able to touch the plant, you'll be able to see what how does it feel? You'll be able to see um, how does it smell, how does it taste? Um, what does it look like when it's at flowering? What type of flower does it have on it? You will be able to know like what soil is good for this plant. Is it is it always growing right here where it's water, where it's mostly dry at? Um, and you'll be able to observe that in your local parks too. They have a lot of gardens in your park, and well, in the park that's by my house, it's a lot of flat, beautiful flowers there, and it's a lot of medicinal flowers there too. So if you really just take the time out to uh, look at a plant, you can read a book all day, but it just have this one picture of it that really won't tell you how it feels, how it smells. I want to be so good at plants that if I have a blindfold on, I'll know that if somebody put a rose up to my nose, I could smell that, or an onion, or, or ginger, or, or turmeric, uh, lemon. You'll be able to know those I'm really not too big on names, which I will learn the common names of plants. But for me, it's all about the touch, the smell, the soil, and feeling this energy of that plant. So, you guys, I do feel like it is a very good idea if you guys want to really learn about plants. And that's my uh, biggest idea. I have actually... Uh, pick some wild plantain that was growing in my backyard and it this smells so lovely so I washed and dehydrated it and then I grind it up and it smells like it smells like tea like you wouldn't think that wild the uh, wild plantain um growing in my backyard it smells just like the tea like the sweet tea that you drink and I love it I and it feels like it feels really good knowing that you went and got this for free from the ground and you made some uh herbal tea with it and it's actually very medicinal and beneficial to your health and it makes you like this is just a start you guys when you start like foraging for your own food you're gonna feel this overwhelming of accomplishment and you're gonna want to start eating a lot more from the earth you're gonna want to start eating a lot more healthy so i think I am going to try to go on a um, start vegan. You know, I think everybody last meat that they will probably stop eating is chicken. So, um, yeah, right now, I'm not even close to going that way, but I'm, it's a start. And every time I go out harvesting for wild uh, herbs and stuff, I love, I feel so good and it makes you feel good too. And I also, what I do is I always put any herbs that I do not use, like when you chop up onions and stuff, put that back into the earth too. Because that's the way I feel like I'm giving back to the earth. Uh, and I want everybody to start doing that because what you're doing is you're just creating compost and giving the soil and the earth nutrients to help it grow to give you more. So if you give the earth, she will give back. So that, I guess that's my way of my offering to the earth is to give back. Uh, and yeah, so the main idea here was just to know how to forage the right way and learning about plants. There's a lot of plants out there, you guys. And when I was first starting on this journey, I wanted to know and learn all about every plant. I mean, I want to be the best healer in the world. 
I do a lot of great kitchen wigs because I love the cooking and I love the, uh, I just love cooking and healing and making of herbs and crafting and stuff and, and witchcraft is just all about that. I don't too much dabble into Wicca or into spells or only love spells and if somebody make me mad I'll probably get a spell in. But this is like all me right here with the herbs and the cooking and the foraging. I love it. So I'm telling you guys this is my steps on how how I'm learning how to get connected with with each plant. I'm going step by step with one plant at a time, uh, learning that plant, learning how it feels when it's dehydrated or dry. I love to hang them out. I do use a dehydrator sometimes too, but I love hanging them just to have their energy around me uh, makes you feel good too. So when you are on this green path of uh, witchcraft or any witchcraft you're on, you are going to be connected to the earth. Um, and you're going to get that good surrounding energy and it just feels so good and if there's anybody out there please comment because i know you guys know how it feels to have herbs just hanging around just ha even having plants in your house just feels so good so um yeah if you guys want to learn all about plants go in your backyard take it one step at a time learn that one plant and learn about it and keep going go on to the next i take me about i want i want to say a week but my plants the some of the plants that i see they have they grow so i i learn as they grow when it's that sprouting stage it could take anywhere from a week to get to a couple months to get to full grown stage i don't know so i'm just really on that journey of sticking with i do a couple of plants at a time too because uh, it's a lot of plants in my backyard but you guys you will get a good energy source from the earth if you are eating from the earth too so what i want to start doing is eating more from the earth i am like just now starting out you guys and i'm so excited because i and it's just me speaking on this even feels good too to even say hey i want to start eating more greens from the earth i want to get it's when you eat from the herb, the herb is what she's going to do in return. She's going to heal you. It's going to heal you if you're eating the right things, okay? So, yeah, follow me on this journey as I learn. And uh, whatever I learn, I will be more than happy to share with you guys um, what I am learning. I am a, not a new witch. I've been known I was a witch since I was young. Um, I recently started practicing, like, I won't say witchcraft, but healing craft. Because I, I love to heal. I love to make people feel good. I love to see people too. So, um, what kind of witch you are? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Are you uh, a good witch? A bad witch? <laughs> or um, a healer? A green witch? A kitchen witch? I, I would love to hear what kind of witch you are. Your story, your background, and what connects you to the earth and to all of us. And what do you feel most strongly about? When it comes to witchcraft, let me know in the comments below. Please subscribe to my channel and follow me.